do our 23andMe kits, which I'm so excited. We both got these for Christmas, and yeah. it was definitely one of our, at least my one of my favorite gifts. Cause yeah, I've wanted to do this for so long. Yeah, I can't I'm wait. Just, to it's crazy. See where we're this. from. So I'm also interested to see like how different ours are when we get them because yeah, you know I mean, we're, we're related, but we're not. But we're not related. siblings. So, we haven't been allowed to eat or drink for the last 30 minutes, but for me, it's been like 5,000 hours, because I was like, Amelia, I'm going to start a timer, and we should do this, and then when the timer went off, she was like, mm, nah, I'm going to take a nap, and I was like, okay, well, I don't know how long she's going to sleep, so I didn't eat or drink anything, and then she woke up and she ate a pistachio! I a did. pistachio! The, it was so good, too. We have to take out our little spit tubes and they've got oh that is so high oh wait no okay never mind <laughs> i was like that whole thing wait yeah right? but it's it's hollow at the bottom it oh. just it's just it's just oh, like it that has. much how much spit can you can you do ready Sally? Wait. that's supposed to be there you, you release it later i wasn't listening to you i was focused Okay, so when you, when we're done filling it, and it has to be the saliva, not the bubbles. So it's, it just starts from here, and it goes to that line. Yeah. And then it's still a done, lot of spit. It's still, it still seems like a lot of film. That spit, little but it's little way bit. better than, like, two inches worth. Okay. And then you close it, and um, that stuff goes down and mixes with the spit. And then you take that off, and then put the cap on, and then you just, Whatever, it doesn't matter. Well, okay, first spit. First spit. Ready, set, spit. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even go in it. Mine did. It's like... That's so gross. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> why am I making... Why are you making noises? Because <laughs> I know how to spit like a pro. I don't think it's real spit. I think it's like bubbly. I mean spittle bubble. Ugh, now my mouth is dry and I'm like, I can't make. How did you spit so much already? Um. Or is it just that spit? How did you spit so much? Look, mine's like. <laughs> now I kind of feel like this is a race to see who gets there first. I'm lose. Yeah, that's why I think it's a race because you're losing. Ah. I just I don't so want the bubbly spit. I want the. You gotta like. You know how you've got the thing that the it's under your tongue. <laughs> oh, why is there blood in there? See, it's a little pink. Is it blood? I, I'm, what else would it be? Is the bubbles gonna like die down like it does for soda? Yeah, I think so. Most people take between two and five minutes to, to deliver the, a saliva sample Ew. following steps one through six. Okay, but see the problem is that it looks like all of this is bubbles. But see, how'd you do that? Because all of the mine are bubbles. I don't know. I like, I don't know. There's really like you like suck up the, because like that's where the spit comes from. It's from under your tongue. No, you have to like suck, like put your tongue to the roof of your mouth and like I don't know how to describe it. Okay. Mine is slightly over the fill line. Ew. That sounded promising. <laughs> don't spit it in your hand, spit it in the tube. Spit. Why are you so slow? Wow, that is a lot of bubbles. <laughs> it's more than half bubbles. <laughs> It's getting close. I think like one or two more. Yeah. <laughs> it's so loud. 
Sorry, I'll give you privacy. I feel like that was a good one. But oh, not there yet. Want me to spit in there? No. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, you oh. did it. Yeah, now you close absolutely. the cap. All right, unscrew the funnel and put on the cute little tiny cap. What? You take this No, off. shake, shake. Not yet. We put the other cap on and then we shake, shake. Oh, but see, I have a problem. Yo, yours is gonna be messy. Okay, Amelia's gonna go to hers over the sink, but I'm gonna do mine now. So, discard that. Put the cute little cap on. Wait for Millie to come back. Oh, it wasn't actually messy. Oh, that's good. Oh, no, it is. Yeah. Join me. Let's shake them for five seconds. Ready? One uh, Mississippi, two, two Mississippi, three, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. We'll send it off later and we'll come back when we get our results back, right? Yeah. All right. Toodles. Do -do -do -do. <coughs> Hashtag sway. So. We finally got our 23andMe results back. I yeah. think we were the last of our family to do so. My brother got it first, mm -hmm. and then your mom, yeah. and then me, and then you. Like days later. Yeah. Well, you know, you probably have the most complex DNA. That's probably why. Your mom's is like 50% Irish and 50% English, and that was it. So we're gonna look at our results now and see what they look like. You yeah, ready? I'm ready. Okay, let me pull it up. If it will ever load. It won't load. <coughs> okay, I have mine. Okay, go for it. Let me see. Tell me. Tell me how that. I wanna know. I'm like. The same as your mom. I'm very. I mean, I think we're all gonna be very white. Really? Nah. Okay, so I am 99.9 .9 European. Mm hmm. Um, I'm out of that 99.1 is Northwestern European. And 72% British and Irish, 9% French and German, 4.6 Scandinavian, 0.4 Finnish, 12%. Point three broadly Northwestern European, and I'm only point one sub-Saharan African, point one West African, point one East Asian and Native American, point one broadly East Asian and Native American. Interesting. That's pretty weird. Cool. <laughs> weird. Cool. I don't know. That's cool, but like it's funny. Yeah. Well, you you got more African than the rest of us. So far. Let's see mine. Um, so 99.8% European. Okay. 55.5% um, British and Irish. 28.9% French and German. 1% Scandinavian. Uh, broadly Northwestern European. 14.2%. Broadly European. Oh man, this is tripping my eyes. 2.2% Sub-Saharan African, 0.1%, and that's a West African, 1%. Unassigned. So my alien genes, I got 0.1% of those. <laughs> so if you do 23andMe, you have like, it's all online once you send in your sample. And they yeah. have like these questions to like help them, that you can answer to help them do more research. So I did like a ton of them. I didn't do any. But I mostly just did them because, like, we just got, like, the basic, like, ancestry report and not, like, the health report that, like, looks at your genes and says, this is what you're at risk for. Mm -hmm. um, so I was kind of hoping if I did a month, enough of them, I would um, get that for free. Is that a thing? No, it's not. It's just a thing that I made up in my head and was like, that would be cool. Let's see. So I... And it's also just, like, fun to just, like sit and answer these random questions about yourself. Yeah, I think it would be cool to know what you're, you might die of. Yeah. Although, I think... Also, just anxiety inducing. Like, I feel like we know enough as it is. I mean, I know, I feel like 
we're going to be pretty high risk for Alzheimer's. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then the rest is just going to be like, okay, but not as much. Yeah. And, like, mental illness and anxiety. And so, yeah, someone please have a baby with me. <laughs> yeah, have my baby. Your child is going to be amazing when they grow up. They're going to be so messed up. No, Don't you like... want to have our babies? Yay. Okay, bye. Hold the toad up, toad. Hold that toad, dude. Okay. Slay. Slay. <laughs>